Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be bringing another update to the tropics where we now have Tropical Depression 8 out there in the middle of the Atlantic. We have Pro Tropical Depression Grace right now, and then we have Tropical Storm Fred about to impact Florida. <laughs> Anyway, before I get straight into things, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. For today's comment of the day, I want to know, do you think that Tropical Depression 8, which is located near Bermuda, will bring us another named storm? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, and we're taking a look at that five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. And as you can see, Tropical Storm Fred is heading pretty much directly north towards the Florida Panhandle. Uh, Tropical Depression, Grace now, uh, is headed mostly towards the west. They're likely going to impact areas like Jamaica. Uh, Haiti on the southern side will get impacted by this Tropical Depression, but it's thankfully a weaker storm, uh, and it won't be going directly over uh, the country of Haiti. And then again, we have Tropical Depression 8 located right next to Bermuda as well. That's a new development, so we'll be ne needing to take a look at all of these things in just a moment. Here's the satellite imagery for Tropical Storm Fred, and as you can see, it is much further east than originally anticipated. Well, it's as far west as originally anticipated, but then we anticipated it to go further west, and now it's further east for sure. Uh, most likely going to hit uh, the central regions of the Florida Panhandle there. Um, and this was at about... I would say 3 a.m. and then here is by the time I'm making this video and as you can see it has really grown actually uh, over the past few hours and it's head headed pretty much directly north so uh, yeah we do expect the Florida Panhandle to get the brunt of those impacts. Here's the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center that we still have. Tropical storm it'll even be a tropical storm as it's crossing the Alabama Florida border there. Uh, we do have tropical storm warnings there along uh, that Florida Panhandle coast there, and then eventually it becomes a tropical depression, and then a subtropical depression or post-tropical depression there uh, over kind of the Smoky Mountains, bringing a lot of rainfall to those states. We'll talk about impacts here in just a second. So already talking about it, here is the peak storm surge forecast. As you can see, for the very uh, western coast there of the Florida Panhandle, we have one to three feet of storm surge expected. But as we pretty much head to the east of Indian Pass. There on the Florida Panhandle, we do see a 3 to 5 feet storm surge expected. North of Yankee Town, there though, we do have a 2 to 4 feet storm surge expected. And then to the south of there, we have a 1 to 3 feet storm surge as well. So there is some areas with some larger uh, storm surge expected. And if this kind of matches up with high tide, obviously that's not very good news at all. So we're going to be wanting to watch this situation very closely. You're going to want to be paying attention to your most up to date information from the National Hurricane Center. And the National Weather Service, as they're pumping out those updates and warnings for you guys, you're going to want to be paying close attention to that. In a second, what we're going to do is move on talk about that total rainfall with this one, and then the most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds, as well as the percentages on screen. And then we're going to start talking about grace, and after that, tropical depression 8. All right, now here is our total rainfall expected, and if you're in the whites, you basically don't expect you, you, you expect under an inch of rainfall. Let's put it that way. The lighter greens is one to two inches of rainfall. The darker greens is two to four inches of rainfall. The yellows is four to six. And then the orange is six to 10 inches of rainfall. So we see a lot of that for the Florida Panhandle and then Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina there as well. Very interesting stuff. Obviously, a lot of rainfall expected up and down the eastern uh, United States here. We see those dark greens extending all the way to Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, and even Pennsylvania up there with the two to four inches of rainfall expected with this storm. So this is gonna be impacting areas very far inland. Uh, very interesting, like I said before. Here's the most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds on screen. You can find your area and find out when it's expected to hit, but about, mon about I would say, I almost said Monday, but it is Monday today. At about 2 p.m., we're going to see those tropical storm force winds move onshore, which you might be watching this after or around that point, and it'll be pretty far inland by 8 p.m. tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow, there is a slight chance that Alabama and Georgia, you know, throughout the morning hours, we'll be seeing those tropical storm force winds as well. The probabilities on screen, if you're in the greens, you're at about 30% or under percent chance of tropical storm force winds. The yellows to golds is about a 30 to 70% chance. And then those reds and purples, which come on shore to Florida Panhandle a little bit, is anywhere over 70% chance. So there's more likely than not that those regions in the reds and purples will see tropical storm force winds. Here's the satellite imagery for tropical depression, Grace, at this point. And uh, Grace isn't looking too shabby. 
If this storm would have been going directly over Dominican Republic and Haiti, this would be a much weaker storm at this point. So, you know, Grace is doing pretty well, uh, but should stay a tropical depression at least until it's south of Cuba there. Let's take a look at that cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center. And I think this is a little too narrow. I'll show you guys later on with the models what I'm thinking. But it's expected to become a tropical storm around 2 p.m. tomorrow south of Cuba. If this one gets minimal amounts of land impacts, I expect this one to strengthen quite a bit, actually. I think this cone is way too narrow, though. Looking almost a week out, this is way, way, way too narrow. Let's take a look at the individual models for this one. And as you can see, it's already just a much wider uh, variety of solutions here. And if there's a model showing it, it is possible. That's how I feel. Uh, I think they prematurely rolled out a Texas impact, you know, with it heading that way, it is possible. Here's the European ensemble model, and as you can see, it has plenty of members on board with this storm heading towards Texas. I mean, although there is more storm showing it head more towards Mexico, uh, it, it, you can't roll out that Texas impact. Um, I think it's just wrong to do. And the Canadian ensemble model as well, the mean average takes it, you know, pretty close there. I mean, it probably is on southern Texas. So there is still a large possibility this one has some United States impacts that we need to be watching for. Uh, now, in a minute, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the intensity guidance for this one, if it could become a hurricane. And then we're going to take a look at Tropical Depression 8 as well. All right, now here we are taking a look here at our... Uh, intensity guidance here for tropical depression grace and as you can see uh, this one is expected to basically be a tropical storm again by about hours 48 if not a little bit later uh, but this one is quickly going to rise towards a stronger tropical storm according to the mean average of all of these models and plenty of these take it towards category one or category two status eventually uh, so this one is kind of our best chance as of right now to become a hurricane out of any of these um, so we're going to be watching for that possibility, obviously, as it is expected to make some land impacts. We're going to be watching closely for that. Here is Tropical Depression 8, and you can see Bermuda there, actually, um, kind of to the northwest of the actual storm here. This one is not looking too good. We see a lot of rotation to the north of a lot of these taller clouds. I'm sensing some shear is probably out there giving this one a hard time, but it is... Regardless, expected to become a tropical storm and stay a tropical storm for quite a while as it circles around uh, Bermuda. Although, as we take a look at the spaghetti model guidance, I found this super interesting, guys. Look at that. It's expected uh, to go around Bermuda and then back towards Europe, kind of. But there is quite a few models that have this one spinning out of that rotation and kind of heading back towards the United States, especially Florida towards the southeast there, as you can see. Uh, that would have to happen within the next 48 hours, that kind of change in trajectory. So we're going to know pretty soon. But I will say this, a lot of these storms throughout history, and as far as, as long as I've been forecasting at least, that do this kind of circular track, they do tend to have a very high chance to just kind of not do the circle they were expected to do and kind of spin out of that. Uh, we've seen this time and time again. And I would not be surprised actually if we see a massive change in the track with this one. Uh, especially towards the southeast, it seems like a second most likely scenario as opposed to that full rotation back towards the middle of the Atlantic. We're going to need to watch that situation very closely, obviously, because that would be a much more impactful solution instead of it heading back towards Europe. Uh, let's take a look at that model intensity guidance here for this one. And a lot of these have it kind of hovering below that tropical storm status line for quite a while and then heading eventually into it. But many of these models also have it very quickly becoming a tropical storm even possibly a category one, two, or three, according to some of these models. Uh, but generally, I think a stronger to moderate tropical storm is most likely at this point in the short to moderate range. And then beyond that, we're going to need to watch it pretty closely and see what happens. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we remain at a four out of six. There's obviously a lot of question marks still with a lot of these storms. We feel very sure about Fred, obviously. Uh, Grace, there is some question marks. And then obviously with this new one, there's a lot of question marks. So that leaves us at about a four out of six. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, um, do you think that Grace is going to be more impactful than Fred? And James Moore said, I believe Grace will become slightly more impactful due to the, it being in the Gulf of Mexico a bit longer. And that makes a huge difference, guys. Don't underestimate uh, that because the Gulf is a crazy place for tropical systems and they can develop very quickly. All right. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel. But especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Bennett, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Lur the Pan, and Donna Carnes. 
alongside our Diamond Patrons. Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kudalasa, Cat Bite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Vallejo, Gary, John Khaleesi, Dwight Phelan, and Stephen Grunenthal. If you would like to be a part of this exciting patron entry of the day, you can do so by joining our very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms 1 and Cat Bite as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.